have you ever came <clears throat> across a flat earther that tells you like the I earth have. is flat? I have. Have you ever so slept with a flat earther? I hope not. I'm just it saying. May, you know what I mean? It may make sense if that's the case. But yes. Yes. Yeah. These be, the you know what I mean? Okay. When I hear flat earth, I'm like, oh, it's going down tonight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Play it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you put on that NASA jacket. Like, you, you know what? You're right, man. Yeah, There's a flatter that. surface called the bed. I'm going to show you the bed. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, mi gente? We're back for another episode of Three G's in a Pod. My name is Sasha Mercy. It's just a poet in the building. And Eric Rivera here. So welcome to Three G's in a Pod, mi gente. And it's going to be a wild episode. We're going to be talking about some real, real NASA stuff. Right? Nasty stuff? NASA. NASA stuff. Oh, NASA stuff. okay. Dude, I'm keeping it. Yo, I'm making sure. I don't know. We Jesus. got back. I don't know where you guys are at mentally. I got to oh, make sure. Oh, we already know where we no, are. I'm, I, honestly, I've been like just looking up like a whole bunch of UFO stuff. So I have some theories. About. Oh, it's been on my feet like crazy. Do, oh, do, on my feet, that's all I'd be looking at. Do right you now. believe in UFOs? Of course not. Yeah, I mean, are they real? <laughs> you bet your ass they're real. Do you know what I'm saying? What about you? you believe yeah, dude. No. None what of this is real. Know? You are an alien. Let None me tell you of this is real. With your perfect smile. Let me Every time you see it, it's like, I saw some lights in the sky. What? So? Okay. But what you, they don't know where the lights are coming from. How have we not had anything physical, like physical proof that we can like, oh, How do you it is. know we don't have? You need, you need How do you know we don't have? You need a shot. We don't. Up. Have you seen it? I, I haven't seen it, but I'm not saying like I don't believe in it or I do believe in it. Eric? You know, there's some things that, you know, I don't have access to. So do you believe in Bigfoot? I believe in God. Do you believe in the Loch Ness Monster? <laughs> and I believe my girl cheats on me. Let me tell you something right now. <laughs> All right? Let me tell you something right uh -huh. now, dude. We have captured some stuff. Haven't been, you been seeing what's going on in the Pentagon? Have you seen some it? Some whistleblowers? Have you seen it? Physically? Have you seen it? I'm not allowed on those campuses. We have some footage. We oh do? my God! And I'm, 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 I'm going to guarantee it's going to be like some weird little spots in the sky. And we're like, oh, there it is. Listen, uh, put it on so we can. I show believe him in up. dinosaurs because you can go to the museum and see bones. You always but how you know that they were like, you know, made up bones? Made this up is in bones? Las Vegas. Yeah. This is in Las Vegas. What's going on in Las Vegas? Let's see. First of all, it's Vegas, so it's a little suspicious. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, light in the sky. Aha! And then where, where's the thing? Eureka, motherfucker. That's not nothing. It's right there. Look at hasta la doña. Algo, vi, vi algo. <laughs> yeah. It's, in the sky, I don't I will, know. I will say, I, I love that the, the only person that, that knows English in that household is talking, a little kid. Look, look, no, look, look, look. Something happened, it went down, and it came down, dude. That I, I, like, I will say, yeah, it, it came it, down, dude. I, Crazy, I was dude. excited to see this clip because it's usually Southern people that I'm like, I don't believe anything. And it was first that, mira, I see something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Falling. Well, I thought it was a spirit. Look, here's, my, here's my theory for UFOs. Okay. I believe that UFOs are us from the future. That's what I believe. And also, another thing that you, I believe... So if it's you in the future, you're going to come back and see yourself like... Like, oh, we go to museums all the time. So maybe they get in a time traveling machine where it's like, yo, it's like a museum for them. That they, That's why you see I the lights like where they're like coming and out. idea from me. No, I didn't. I've said it before. No, you didn't. You thief. I, I, have I a whole, predicted this. No, I have a whole TikTok about it. Oh, really? Yes, I do. You stole it from me and put it on TikTok. Let me tell you something. <laughs> My, my theory was always been like, that's just us in the future coming back. Uh -huh. and supplies that we need for the future. You know what? It's like, oh, we ran out of this. Oh, let's go back. And then they came back. And then, and then they tell the guy, Stuart, you, you, you can't get caught. Yeah. I'm not going to get caught. I promise. And then they get caught. And they're like, real quick. Oh, what, 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 oh, what college did you go to again? Both of you? Because I, I need to understand oh, these theories. Oh, Sorry, what kind of you, what, what, what kind I saw them in black one time. And I believe. Get out of here. What about all those people that say they got abducted? Yeah. Exactly. How about that? Have and you ever seen Fire in the Sky? A movie. Oh, that was a good movie. A movie. That was okay. a good movie. It was based all, on a real story. Watch your mouth. All uh -huh. right? Watch your mouth, Look. dude. This guy has been probed. He's been through a lot. Probe. All right? Uh -huh. Probe. Probe. You know. Okay? Uh -huh. This is one of my theories, too. Like, oh I God, feel I like the people that, you know, get abducted. Yes. Right? I feel like there's something really wrong with them or something, and they're trying to fix them. Like, oh. you know, like if you have an ant farm. And there's something wrong with one of your little so ants. So now, now yeah. aliens and, and mechanics. Don't ruin this. Or people well, mechanics. Let them finish. Don't this ruin this. This is just my theory. This is just my theory because tech, like when you think about it, right? Yes. We already trying to leave Earth and we're trying to go live in Mars. Okay. All right? Oh my God. So, I and every time I we can't. ask God for help, we always be like, God, please. So we but not we're praying from for here. the wrong person. We're not from here. I don't think we're from here, to be Ooh. honest. Ooh. I, I, no, I, I'm going I with can't. this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. So what's going on? You think they're fixing us? 
I think they're fixing us. Word? And, they, that's haven't, and they haven't come down to fix Jesus yet. Let me tell you. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe that has, maybe I don't Jesus is exactly how they want him to be. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? saying? Like, maybe this is Maybe this is, this is, this is part of the, the, the machine that's machining. You really don't think, you really think that we're the only ones that, here on earth? Yeah. You really think that? Where, where's your proof? You love yourself. Where's the proof? <laughs> here's the thing. No, no, no. Here's Eric. The, you love yourself. Eric. What? We have the Pentagon. You know the Pentagon, right? Yeah, I know the Pentagon. Aha! This oh, is look, oh, Pentagon. Look, there's a little spot. No, 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 no. Hold on. The Pentagon, first oh, of all. Look at cataracts in the, in the sky. Yeah. A guy in a turtle, turtleneck. I believe him. They he don't know what that is. They don't know what the, what the, the spot is? There? Yep. They said it's moving too fast. They can't, they can't quant, like, quantify what this is. What's, there's a new oh, phrase for a UFO. Have you guys heard it? what it's called? U- UAP? What's that stand for? Unidentified aerial In a building. You see what I'm saying? That little speck can be us from the future coming back. I, They're just like, I feel I've like. Take, listen, I've taken pictures of my iPhone with that little speck. It could be a little dust on the, on the, on the lens. You don't know. Come on. <sighs> Stop it. We're going to take a quick commercial break. But when we come back, yes. we have an actual NASA engineer. Oh, we do. Elio Morillo is going to come in. He's going to sit down here. And you guys can give him all your theories because you saw uh-huh. men in black and fire in the sky. Oh, boy, do I And have he can actually, but, okay, what happens factually is, oh, wow. tell us things. Okay, okay, so what if factually he says that you're, you're wrong? Well, we're going to find what out. What you going to do? We gonna he's find not going to. No, we should bet. We should bet. Bet what? I don't know. So what do you think? Something. He's going to come with an alien on, on his lap? Like, uh, maybe. Here it is. Maybe. I don't know. Yo, stick around, stay tuned, sit down, and check us out after these commercial breaks. We are made of all the components we, in the stars. We are made of stars. We are made of stars. We are literally made of stars. Girl, you made you do it too. Okay. Like a high self-esteem. <laughs> I'm made of stars. We are back. We have, like I promised, NASA's engineer, Elio Morillo, and I'm excited to have you because I can't with these two, and you are uh, a learned man that can break down some of these... They think they, they're coming back from the future. But I'll have them explain. Yes, please. sir. First of all, welcome. Welcome. Yeah, thank, oh, you. I'm glad here. thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Super Elio fun. Marillo. So Elio real quick, you work, you work for NASA. You've been there how long? I worked for NASA. You I, worked? I, I quit NASA last year. Okay. I was there for about a little more than six years. Okay. And ah, I knew uh, it. <laughs> now I'm working uh, at one of Papa Bezos' company. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh so look at. Wait, Zaddy Bezos? Wait, oh, wow. You I know won't Zaddy say it, I, Bezos? I won't say it openly because I can't, but. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. I told you. He is a good looking guy. You know what I mean? He looks like he works out. Have you not seen? Why are we talking about his, like, he got one like lazy eye? Like he's like this. This, 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 this is what I deal with. Let me, it doesn't even matter. That's not even what <laughs> we're talking look, about. I, you I'm can look at the interested. floor with them billion dollars. No, wait, it doesn't. <laughs> guys, we got we have we have a guest. Guys, okay, yes, sorry, thank sorry. you. I feel like I, my, I got my kids. Here. Guys, I'm this sorry, company. I'm sorry. Yeah, you got me excited. <laughs> you got me excited. <laughs> we have company. We have company. Anyway, so uh, so what are you doing for for Bezos? Uh, is is it still in the space field? Like what, what's going on? Yeah, so so at NASA I actually worked on the the latest Mars mission, okay. Mars 2020. So I was there working on the rover that got there in 2021, worked surface operations as well, so exploring Mars with okay. the rover and the helicopter. Uh, first time we fly a vehicle outside of Earth, we did it there. Right. And I was part of that team, which was incredible. And now what I like to say is I'm working on lunar stuff. So I went from Mars to the moon, shorter commute, a little bit easier. Okay. Uh, and, and we're trying to get humans to the moon very soon. Nice. Do you collect like- crystals? <laughs> oh, boy. Because let me kind? tell you something right now, dude. Tell me. How do they vibe? When you, when you wear earrings like you do, you definitely collect crystals, <laughs> all right? <laughs> you, got, you believe in energies. You believe yeah. in uh, you know things like that. The the so, all moon stuff right now, purely moon stuff, just moon. moon okay, good. That's what I do. Okay, so, okay. My question is when <laughs> uh, you're saying, when you're saying that you're working on like, um, you know, moon stuff. Is it? <laughs> first of all, you have to say like that. It's called lunar <laughs> or Luna. whatever. Lunar, like sure. working. Lunar. Okay, moon Luna. Stuff. Um, is it for recreational purposes for like people to go like and just almost like? Is that the plan? Can you I finish what I'm, I'm sorry, you got me excited because uh, the, the movie so that like, played in you my know, head. Like, because you know how people go to Disney World, right? right. And it's you just like, you oh. you put I'm Disney World on the moon? No, Hold on, let so, her finish. But it's like going to be, hey, Why I'm not? not that off, right? Why not? But, but it could be like a thing where people are able to just go visit the moon on vacation or like something like that. Is that like 
around along the line. Yeah, so so you, you talked a little bit about it earlier. Uh, we're trying to put millions of people oh, uh, to to live and work in space. Uh, really, in, in, in coming That's decades, probably wild. centuries, is how I realistically see it. But yeah, I mean, one day people like us are going to be able to just say i'm gonna go to the moon for the weekend mm. and what yeah that's the that's the that's goal. the goal right yeah. and i think that one of the people that are very um uh, that really believe in that is jeff bezos like yeah and, 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 and the vision that he has which which i align with is that the the idea is to keep earth as pristine as possible and you want to start moving out what we call our heavy industries into space mm. so anything that has to do with creates a lot of contaminants and heavy metals and these things that are actually quite common in space we move them out and we keep our earth as pristine as possible so we're gonna yeah. pollute the space now well, yes it's our there's no, nothing there's pollute, pollute. Uh, okay there's no play. okay yes. but, uh, because uh, you know like all these actually theories I, I'll, I gotta be careful there are things that we consider when we talk about planetary protection okay mm. so this is now my nasa hat coming back yeah. Uh, when when we went to Mars, and as we are on Mars right now, Wait, okay. There's people on Mars right now. No people. Not okay. Yet. Okay. That's that's like several Loser. decades down the line. But we have robots, right? Okay. And, and right now, the pure ambition that NASA has, and I think it's it's this is one of the reasons I work there. It's completely noble noble purposes is to figure out ultimately if we're alone in the universe. Right. right. Mm. So, on Mars in particular, we'll start talking about aliens here for sure. And something you were saying. Oh. Um, oh. Whether or not there's proof, uh, right? So there are scientists right now yes. trying to figure out if there's any kind of evidence of biological remnants on Mars. Mm -hmm. That is what the Mars 2020 mission right. was designed for. So what's going on is that we went there, we have this rover exploring, collecting these samples, caching them. So basically putting them in a tube so that the next mission goes, picks them up, and brings them to Earth two things we got to be careful with that uh y'all have seen oh man i'm forgetting the name of the movie but this movie Typical. where they they bring back like uh yeah it's called uh, uh, uh venom oh boy <laughs> well, that's one it could, could oh be yeah God. i mean it could be like, you, uh, could, you never know well, but, but, but this whole concept of the andromeda strain right yeah. if we do find something that's living or dormant uh outside and of we bring Earth, it into and we bring it back yes. and we don't take care of it another it could, strain it could, yeah. it could wipe out life here because literally yeah. there's no way life on earth will be able to protect itself like a, a stronger that. like strain of like syphilis you never know player you, you think it's syphilis right now right. you right. think it's but syphilis can can I well hold up they're not talking i mean to that point okay yes. would, if we find something uh -huh. it would be maybe bacteria <laughs> maybe virus eureka bitch <laughs> so if you think little green people on on, the, on mars in particular it's no there, there there's no real evidence that, that would support that I, but if we do find evidence uh, of tiny little living things that independently right formed on another planet that wasn't earth then anything could happen in this massive universe. Right, right? that's like true. That's, I believe so, it. Dude. So if we confirm when, and I think in the next decade we'll be able to have an answer whether uh -huh. or not on Mars right. something happened, because the next mission, the Mars sample return mission, right. early 2030s, is literally going there to pick up the samples and bring them back to Earth. <gasps> um, do, do you guys test them out over there first, see if it's cool, and then? Well, that's what the the rovers is currently doing, doing right now. Is collecting but there's only samples. so much a robot can do. I mean, I have well, one yeah, of the little no, you, cleaning you, you, vacuum robots. Wait, did you just compare the yeah. rover to a Roomba? Man. It's, it's the same thing. 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 It's You just said, if we confirm. So that means right now there's no confirmation that there is life. Scientifically, there isn't confirmation. Oh. But. Oh. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. Hey, First of all. <laughs> Listen, let him talk. Let him we talk. have been throughout the last few decades and as of recently as of last week with James Webb Telescope by mm -hmm. observing other planets, figuring out that there are ingredients for life mm -hmm. all over the universe, mm -hmm. in our solar system right. and yeah. outside. So whatever happened on Earth, could it right. have happened elsewhere? Maybe. Yeah. We don't have it. Basically what you're haven't. saying is like in our nearest like universe or whatever we yeah. haven't found any life not yet but if uh, we look at a stop if you karate chop the guest i swear <laughs> to god girl <laughs> no but like seriously so in like our nearest solar system we haven't found any life outside of ourselves correct but if we look it would this scientist found that there might be the ingredients of 
human life or other life. Because right. I heard somewhere that all of the components of the stars I is what well, we're made of. Components of the stars. <laughs> right? Am I, am okay. I tripping? Repeat that, repeat that. No, no, all yeah. of the, we are made of all the components we, in the stars. We are made of stars. We are made of stars. We are literally made of stars. Girl, you made you do, do. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, high self-esteem. <laughs> I'm made of stars. I, yo, we <laughs> but, have all the Sasha components. Sasha isn't wrong. I'm, I'm a, not wrong. Yo, I'm, maybe I'm a, I should be a little scientist. You. And I think a, 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 a layer you above you that, gotta. which is something that uh, astronomers have said over the last few decades, people like Carl Sagan, is like, at the end of the day, we're the universe trying to understand itself. Right. Oh, shit. Hold on. Put that back. Let's a bar. Hello. Hold on, because yeah. I'm doing my, I'm a rap album. We are made of stars, <laughs> and we are the universe trying to understand itself. It's how, almost like how do you spell we? Hold on, it's, just real quick. It's almost like the human brain trying to understand itself. Like it don't. It's yeah. like this. I wait, damn. And then we creating yeah. AI. Y'all are just. Yeah. Y'all just think alike, don't you? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but it's, these are the things. I yeah. mean, this is what I be looking at. Like, oh, I, know I, mean, like I don't like I how mean, Sasha has has flipped it now. Yeah, because before she was a scientist. Oh, let me tell you my theories. Yeah, now yeah. she's like, mm, I see what you're saying. No, I'm not going to accept my theory. You changed all this. Y'all know. How did I change? You left the hood right now. You went like, actually, uh, quantum system. Uh, correction. Uh, I've never changed my theory. I never changed my theory. Tell them how you thought you saw E.T. in the Bronx. I never said that. Y'all over here just talking all this crap. I agree with you. My theory is that aliens is not the people that we're calling UFOs are just us on a time machine. I said that since so like sat down. I have my thoughts on that too. Okay, okay. <gasps> so I want right. to know: Do you believe in the? First of all, hold on. Time out. Do you believe that we're the only ones here on Earth? Personally, do you believe that? Uh, not on Earth, but like in the universe. In the universe, I I would think there would be. Oh, I would be better. incredibly arrogant to believe that we're unique. Mm. Thank you. And, okay, where's Sorry, the proof? No, no, you're good. <laughs> but where's the proof? You, you heard him say, we're, we we're trying to find it. it but we're trying to find it. And, and, and hold on, there's not only is there Mars, but then you have moons like Europa, which is a, a moon mm. uh, part of the Jupiter system that has more water than Yeah, Earth. I was going to say that too. Jupiter and system, yeah. Over here. We know that where there's water, there's life on Earth. Right. So there's more water in Europa than there is on this planet. So, however, there's like a 10 kilometer thick layer of ice mm. that we're going to have to break through to get to that ocean. But it's there, and that's just a technical problem that I think we're going to solve in the next few decades. And NASA is spearheading that with the mission in 2026, I think, is when it launches. So do you think so in our lifetime we'll ever... Get that answer? I, I, I truly believe so. I know people are working for it, so we're going to find out whether or not something exists outside of Earth. And may, maybe it's yes, maybe it's no. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping it's yes, but uh, so TBD. I, out of all the things that you've been, you hang out with these smarty pants all, all day, do, every day. I do, and I try to absorb. You know, you're around these guys, okay? Guys and gals. Guys and, yeah. <laughs> oh, you betcha. <laughs> guys and gals. Oh, my God. Uh, I apologize. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking right now, dude. Don't you fucking, all right? All right. Cross you out, dude. Um, <laughs> what is one thing that you're excited about that you hear and you have, like, faith about? Like, oh, you know what? This is, I, I'm excited for this. I hope this happens. Oof. This gives me hope. Uh, or is it all just scary and we're all pretty much dying and you don't want to tell us? Well, that's a good question. So we're trying to, pr no. We're, we're trying to prevent that from happening by expanding into the solar system. Uh, so there's that aspect, which I truly think is a noble pursuit. Now, it's super exciting that we are trying to tap into the solar system because truly uh, the resources that we think are limited here on Earth, there's just infinite amounts of everything all around us in the solar mm -hmm. system. And once we start tapping into that, who knows how society and how the world is going to evolve. Oh, don't X out. Check what's coming up after this commercial break. Have you ever came <laughs> across a flat earther that tells you like the I earth have. is flat? I have. Have you ever so slept with a flat earther? Okay. So I have a question. Yeah. How do you, um, have you ever met anyone What's who... your hinge profile? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You... First of all, what's wrong with your relationship that no. is? No, what do you guys... <laughs> we can talk about that too. It's a little <laughs> bit in my mouth. Oh! Get to the ball! <laughs> Ooh, hell of a plug. No, so listen, <laughs> shut up. Um, so, is she blushing? Questions. No. Can you guys let me talk? She look like oh. Amber. She blushed it. Mm, let her finish. These guys, man, they suck. <laughs> no, anyway, no, um, no, no. Let her finish. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Have you ever came across <laughs> a flat earther that tells you like the I earth have. is flat? 
I have. Have you ever so slept with a flat earther? I hope not. I'm just it saying. May, you know things may mean? make sense if that's the case. But yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. These be, you know okay. When I hear flat earth, I'm like, oh, it's going down tonight. You know what I'm saying? Play it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you put on that NASA jacket. Like, you, you know what? You're right, bitch. It's like, <laughs> I told everybody. But you got to keep it quiet. <laughs> Cut to my... Uh, Hotel, I'll tell you exactly where the flat earth is oh at. Oh my Where's god. Where's my notepad? I there's, there's, a, yeah. there's a flatter surface called the bed. I'm going to show you the bed. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm oh, just saying. I, if I, I will just get me excited. Anyways, right. continue. So how do, you, how do you debunk or like, how do you even have a conversation with someone like that? It's difficult because people like that typically are already so set in their ways. Oh, yeah. That totally, unless yeah. they are truly curious uh -huh. and want to engage in a conversation, I'm just not even going to bother. Now, because we were watching these clips and people are, oh, my God, I saw something in the sky. What yeah. do you explain? What, yeah, how do you explain that? Do you watch that as as, as an engineer and go like, that's ridiculous. Like, these people are ridiculous. Can it just be that you guys are just out there working and you're like, man, come on, can we just keep it? You, you guys tap so, into a, a thing that you're like, man. So to that point, right? And I think it goes back to things even like when people talk about the pyramids and, mm. and, and all this stuff. My first argument is like, humans are smart as shit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Not all of them. I know a couple. But, but you know. Yeah, collective. But we yeah. are. We but, are. But, but yeah. They're smart. Um, and just based on stuff that I've worked on, there are things that may look alien and may look completely exotic right mm. but it's very scientifically driven there's incredible people out there that are doing so much work and so much research that i hate to not give them credit and credit some stupid alien because mm. i have friends working on some crazy tech that i know oh. that are, that just, they dedicate their lives to this kind of stuff right um and, and to that point right also uh, another another light to this which to to bring up the Pentagon, and maybe they're not going to like me for saying this kind of stuff. Do you know what, um, dude? You, you, you NASA, But, but I, I love talking about government, and, yeah, yeah, and I'm super passionate about politics okay. and, and, and statesmanship and all this good stuff. Imagine that you have someone like Russia or China developing your, their own tech, and they're able to fly into our airspace. Do you want to admit that to the public, or do you want to say, yo, can someone just speak up and say that that's, an alien. That that's a UFO that you saw? Mm. See, that's the thing. Okay, here, right? so here's, here's what thing. looks better for the public? Because yes. otherwise, you could start having people mm. get really scared. Oh, right? and that's oh. what happened a few months ago with the, the stupid the, balloon, the, the weather balloon, yes, the balloon. Oh. But I, I have a so, question. I, what about the people that say that they got? Uh, hold on, hold on. Let him finish have calling y'all dumb, please. <laughs> let, him, uh, let him finish let, calling let, you guys simple-minded. Okay, continue, <laughs> Elio. Please, yes. Go ahead. I'm creative. So, so the balloon thing, mm -hmm. I think, was such a waste of money. Um because as I, I, I showed this on my Instagram, in my master's, I, like for, for one of my classes. In your what? In my master's. Okay, my master's. okay, you saw some documentary. Okay, cool, cool. Enough. In my master's for one of my classes, mm -hmm. uh, we built a high altitude balloon and uh -huh. you can project how it's gonna fly and you can put cameras and, mm -hmm. and, and you can put whatever sensors you want. And it costs like $1,000 to build. What? And, and here we are with how, however much an F-22 costs, I don't remember, but that's hundreds of millions of dollars, Ooh. using a missile that cost 500 million a pop, mm -hmm. or whatever it is, or 500,000 a pop, to blow up a balloon that was just to wait mess around with the U.S., right? So it, that kind of stuff kind of oh, pisses so me off. Also, why can't you just pop it with, like, you, you that's a needle? That's what that's that what you can just pull up with the drone and just and it would have been enough. But the problem, ah, yeah, there, there's reasons, but. You see, this is why I have trust issues. You know, I'm Latino. I've been lied through all my <laughs> life. You know what I'm Question saying? Question everything. And th this is what Question I hate. Everything. I hate that people are lying to me. And, and if you're saying this, it makes me wonder like, then what, what else are they lying about? Could, could have been like a group of students literally flying and they didn't call the FAA to say, hey, we're flying a balloon here That's today. Because mm -hmm. again, with a thousand bucks, you can so just wrong. build a balloon however, and it's really not that FAA? hard. Did you, are you, um, so, let me tell you something. So, so, so you, you know, these things that people see in the sky, that I was more say, often so than not, you're on the right path. I think it's just like either projects that people are building. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Remember, not only is there government, but there's also corporations. And corporations, mm -hmm. as we learned, they do whatever they want yeah. on earth. 
they're probably building some stuff that's flying around and no one really knows about. But you don't know. You don't know what happened with the balloon. I mean, you're well, around. It just these... got blown up, man. Just got no, 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 no. But you know where it came from and stuff like that. Oh, it was you know? confirmed. It was a Chinese balloon. Oh, okay. Right? Did they confirm it in your? So you got to show and you got to poise strength that you have an F-22 that can blow up anything in the sky that comes ah. in our airspace, right? So that's kind of part of it. So I understand. But mm -hmm. also, like, we just wasted a ton of money on that. So gotcha. Um, so basically what you're pretty much explaining is that a lot of these things are just sensationalized just to distract so. just to distract people oh, from using big words now. I, wait, she went, she went I from so. I believe you know, to the, the, the fact that her, her posture right now with the, the folding and the, I've never seen can we look back at another episode? <laughs> I never seen her crisscross applesauce like that before. <laughs> Whatever. But, okay. I'm trying to get down I'm just to saying, the, I, I'm really, she's excited. We're all excited. Yeah, we this is like something we really wanted to talk about. So now that I wanna know more about your your new like um like new projects that you're working on. You're saying that you are working with Bezos and more yeah. about like the lunar missions and stuff yeah. like that. And it's just for it to, um, one, to take like these bigger corporations outside of Earth, right? Mm -hmm. To make it safer or like more livable. But um, is because we already know, or like you mentioned that there's so many um, minerals and all these things outside in the universe, could there be a future where people are just living in a ship in outer space? I think so. Um, and I, I, I'm just going to talk about the show that, that presents a good way. In the thing is that happen. the expanse, if you're, you if you're getting your science from a show, it, that's making me nervous. Well, the expanse <laughs> actually had a great scientific board and it came from a novel and I'm blanking out on the names and it's like very well scientifically written. Okay. Cause um, I got my degree from watching, uh, interstellar and let me tell you something, dude. <laughs> that was a good one too. They actually used good right the too. black hole. We'll yeah, talk about that later. The black hole you can get crazy with because no one really knows. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I beg to differ, but okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so so I, I think it's gonna happen. People are gonna be living in space, and we don't truly know what that means. The one thing I always tell people, right? It's it's not romantic at all to be in space. Mm -hmm. Space, no. space oh, is yeah. dangerous. Space mm. is not. Uh, it's not meant for humans. Right. And really. Well, Sasha's got and all the tech she that had a romance in space on her bucket list. Go ahead, she tell said, him. I mean, it's she, she said I, something. All I, all I that said we heard. was that I would love to know what zero gravity feels like. Yeah, like, <laughs> like that's on my bucket list. With, but that's like that, so you expensive. can do that. You can but get on the, like, the airplane. No, 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 no. Zero but that's you don't understand. Expensive. It's expensive. What are you talking about? Zero gravity. <laughs> zero gravity. Yeah, like how it feels. Yes, zero gravity. Yes, exactly. With, like floating in a ship with somebody floating with you. No, well, no. <laughs> no, no. I apologize. No, That's what you're saying. Hey, hey, no, this no. is valid. Ast it can yeah, astronauts okay, okay. won't admit but that it's happening. Sure. Do astronauts do it? Yeah, we don't. We've asked them. No one. Liam, come like, on. People don't admit it. They, they've they written it in their memories, and they're, they're, there's definitely been romance in space. Mm. And, and okay. like, look this up because it's it's intense. Wait, wait, why is uh, it intense? Because I look in, who just perked in, up. In the the the, those pages are People sticky. go a little bit. The, the drama, drama will go with us to space. Oh, wow, we're, we're, we're just we're just human beings. We're just human. We're human. Oh, we, we're human we after. Said at the same time. And let me tell you something. You don't want to see me in space, player. Oh, my God. <laughs> you You're going to be just I'm floating on right today. Now, you know what I'm saying? What you doing today? Hey, what's going on? Hey, Josh, what are you doing, but man? But anyway, I wanted to... That's, but one of the things that are on my bucket list, I don't know if there's people that are watching this and would like to know, like, how can they go about, like, maybe trying to experience that, like, being mm. in zero gravity. For now, you gotta have money. Yeah, it's expensive. Uh, well, I think I'll tell you that's this. what we're, we're trying to we're trying to make space more accessible over the next few decades. Like a hundred years ago, people that were flying on airplanes were paying a lot of money to do it. And I think now, obviously, we can all just say you know where you can go, go for free, uh, the nearest pool. You just go in there. Is it, you is hold that your what it breath. feels like? Is that what it's it feels the like? Same have you ever, shit. Well, to that point, they do train the astronauts in, Thank in, you so in much. water to understand how to navigate and buoyancy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not quite the same, but it's the closest we could get, right? Um, but yeah, I think there's going to be opportunities in our lifetime. I'm trying to go to space. Hopefully, you want to go to space? Absolutely, 100. percent The first time I go, though, just told us that it's, it's whack over there. Yeah, no. that's it's, why it's, I'm an engineer working on it to make sure it's safe. Yeah. And, and also, wouldn't you be bored out of your fucking mind? I would be so bored if I was in space. I feel like I got locked up. Well, I think you're going to be crime. more worried about surviving, surviving? than being bored. Uh, yeah. And doesn't it scare you knowing that what happened with the with the submarine things like that can happen in space? Oh, that's a it, good it could, it could, that's and honestly, it could. So that specific submarine that just happened, yes, it's one of the most ridiculous engineering failures, and all of us in all the engineering fields are talking about it because it was entirely preventable. Uh, they did a lot of stupid shit 
that shouldn't have happened. Whoa. Uh, they gave I mean, when you got a scientist they cousin. Used, they used materials incorrectly. Like, you, you just look at their videos and the way they mounted screens onto carbon fiber plate. It's a what whole was, thing that's just like, this is ridiculous. What was like, the one thing you off the most that you saw? They're like, are you fucking kidding? I think when I learned, uh, when when I saw what I just described, this video that was shows a monitor drilled into a carbon fiber plate. Wow. Oh my God. I was just like, if they got away with that, Huh. This whole thing was just a joke. My and, God. Uh, unfortunately, people died. And, yeah. and I think that's also something I, we, we are very conscious of in space. It's just like we can't do that um, because. That's why I don't get in my uncle's car. He's got a Nissan Altima buddy, with a Nissan Chevy Altima. Silverado unless, truck unless engine. Spirit is flying to the moon. We ain't going. <laughs> you know how much it costs to get to the moon? Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. Nah, uh, so, that's, also, that's very Elio, true. I got a question. Do you ask, think. That's where. Um, companies are going to have to work with the government for certain regulations to go into space, or is it? That's what's happening right now. Okay. Uh, and anything that will be human certified, especially if, for now, people are trying to fly NASA astronauts. That's like the main customer. Mm -hmm. You got to build stuff to a certain standard for NASA to be like, yeah, we're going to put our astronauts on there. So who do you trust? Uh, Whose rocket would you ride on? That sounded dirty as hell. <laughs> Whoa, hey, guys. No. Papita, Let's what are you? professionals. What are you talking about? Hey, you're riding, <laughs> you're riding um, fucking uh, Bezos or, or uh, Elon, 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 Elon? Depends. Mm, you good answer. answer. So, so three of us are comics, and we'll watch specials. We make fun of the, kind of the specials. Like, oh, that, I'm as, a scientist as, on the as side. As an engineer, do you mouth. watch like other people build rockets? Like, <laughs> He put that there. Oh, God, this guy right we here. We tend to be pretty critical of each other. Yeah. yeah. We, we, we do. We do. Uh, and some people are doing better uh -huh. than others. And, and we, we, love, we love to talk shit, okay. too. Yeah. Do you ever okay, build... Shit. Hold on. Uh, just personal, do you ever build anything on your personal use that you're like, oh, like, this is my own little invention that I have in my house? Like, uh, not recently. I, I don't have to brush my own teeth. Something has... Dude, stuff like that. Not, not, not yet. That's, it. That's okay. maybe the next one. I'm okay. Write that one down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, it's written. I know I built uh, most recently. So man, it's awesome. I do this for a living, so you know yeah. I, I'm home. I'm trying to chill. Yeah. Uh, oh, you're one of those, huh? You are Latino. Yeah. Super. You come home. Yeah, I have a long day. Too God damn, I got that. Too relaxed, no matter. Numbers and shit. Yeah, numbers. Were you always interested in space, like growing up as a kid? Like, was that your thing? Like, you know, I I think yes, and I'm gonna pitch the book right now. Yeah. Yes, um, please do. I I recently go into the details of all that, yeah. and uh, the boy who reached for the stars, I had the opportunity to publish with Harper Collins mm -hmm. and um, I talk about the influences and, yeah. and for me I, I didn't grow up with much at all so the way I was consuming media was TV cartoons that's kind of what led to the imagination just right. being active and then at home my mom was a teacher so oh, wow. part of it oh. was uh, I couldn't show up with anything less than an A uh, so that lines up pretty yeah. well with uh, having to go after scholarships and opportunities right. to go to college and uh Oh, so your mom was super supportive. She's like, yeah. The entire time, man. I owe everything. Chase the everything yeah. I owe to my mom. You sound very angry important. about that, dude. Yes, yes, I got it. Oh, All so right, your mom everything. was supportive Let me tell you loving. something. Every she time I you? put on this robe, my mom used to make fun of me, these glasses. <laughs> Let me tell you, this is why I'm inside, all right? <laughs> okay? <laughs> I am a scientist you look inside. Great. Yeah. Okay? It suits you. And that's, that's very important. Yeah. That parents, we need to support our kids. We like see what happens. Yeah, and that, yeah. and I talk about that. Uh, is your whole family point. supportive? Like your uncles well, and Well, I, I grew or? up. I grew up single mother household uh, mm. in Puerto Rico, and and the family was mostly between New York and, and Ecuador. So really, truly, uh, it was my mom and I. Uh, and Man, your mom probably shows you. She showed you off so much. Yeah. I mean, he's in. He's an right now. He's in the the moon. But when he comes back, man, <laughs> she's probably I can't showing wait for you that up. conversation yeah, to happen. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> she's probably saying, that, "Oh, I'm sorry. I don't." Even at, at the store, like yeah. that's gonna be uh, 150. Oh, okay, great. My son, he's a, <laughs> a scientist. Astronaut. When you go home and visit mom, does she make you put the jacket on? Like, Listen, no, mijo, when I get mijo, home, get the I jacket. get humbled. Man. Yeah, yeah. Man. Really? I mean, this is why yeah. I go back to New York every time that I can. Like, I hang out with the grandparents. And Hi, Mr. NASA. You didn't even flush the toilet when you walked in, Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's put the, the kind of conversation. Put the toilet seat so, down. <laughs> One of my questions is like, you know, being able to work at NASA, like how mm -hmm. many Latinos are you working with? Not a lot. And we know this is why we're out here trying to tell these stories because we want more. So what yeah. was your like, fuck, I can't believe I'm here moment. Yeah, that's a great question. I think I had that after all was said and done. Uh, I was very focused on getting the mission done. And once we got to Mars and I started working operations and running a lot of the components of the rover is when I start realizing. I mean, I was very conscious that there's not many people that sound and look like me there. 
but then truly when I, I, I got I got to a point that I started reflecting, it was tr writing this book mm. um, that I realized how special that that is. And mm. I think people opened the doors for me and I'm very conscious of this too. I hadn't I have I had incredible mentors, Latinos, Latinas that got me to to to, to work on this mission that I did. Uh, it's super important to me to, to do the same moving forward and, and right. to, mm. the doors that were open for me keep them open and open more and more and more as we move along I think that's that's the message I try to communicate and I truly live by those words yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that's fucking awesome. I think this is great because honestly I feel like right now we're living in a generation where all these children they just want to be tiktokers and they want to be all this stuff when it's like I mean, there's more important things I mean honestly like I, I mean, because we need people who are going to make, take action and to the better of the future. We're all yeah. just going to be TikTokers and just be like, Dude. and listen, and, and to that point, right? Like at the end of the day, moving <sighs> into the world we're moving into, that's going to be really driven by a lot of these AI innovations. Yes, yes. Right? I, that so, was another question I was going to have. It we'll, was, we'll talk about we'll yeah. talk about that for sure. But I think that's especially yeah. important that we as Latinos get involved in tech and in into this world because our culture Watch your mouth. needs to. <laughs> continue showing up right. and in the spaces where design choices are being made we need to be represented i want to i want to listen to bad bunny on the moon i don't yeah. want to listen to some Damn. classical music and Sasha, to that point right Sasha when i was in the lab bad bunny and zero gravity so yeah. do, do, when, is, when is, i was playing <laughs> when i was in the lab doing the work for the mars rover i specifically brought my speaker and i was like this is what we're listening yeah, to today right. and and because yeah. otherwise it wasn't going to happen right, right. Right. oh um, i bet you william hated that god yeah. damn it yeah because i mean uh, people, people he's bringing that woogie boogie stuff yeah one of the things <laughs> I'm telling yeah, you, this is like, is, Jesus Christ, what the yo, hell is that? Did you ever get hit with the ruler in school growing a up? A bunch oh, of times, dude. Let me tell you he still does. That's that's what he yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes yeah. I bring it in the bedroom. Like, nah. <laughs> 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 mm. oh, yeah. Reminds me of that teacher. Yeah, yeah. teacher, yeah, dude. Oh, I used to get hit all the time. Please, you see this right here? Anyways, we'll talk about that <laughs> some other time. Some other time. <laughs> dude, see. You got the cut too? Oh, you a bad boy. You're Puerto Rico. Yeah, you probably. Did you get bullied? I didn't. You didn't get bullied? Bullying wasn't a thing. Well, you know, when you're handsome like the way you no, are. Mira, it's que in, Puerto, in Puerto Rico, my, like hey, when you, I grew up. on him? Relax, yeah, listen, bro. Let me like, something. If we don't acknowledge the cuteness, <laughs> then we're going to keep giggling <laughs> like Sasha's giggling. And <laughs> we can't sit here so straight. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Is there a lot of smart, like a hot... Uh, uh, Puerto Rican. Uh, Puerto Rican. <laughs> Hot, uh, what do you call them? Well, I think. Yeah. Uh, hold on, let me. 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 There's always, the scientist is always a bald white guy. Nerd. No, the, the, yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. If you take a picture, you show club, up, you, you got a sleeve, you got the earring, you got a cool look to you. You got some swagger to you. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate that. How many science bitches come up to you and be like, <laughs> oh, my God. oh my God, I mean, <laughs> I, I want to know something. What is that music you play? The, I just, <laughs> you're like, oh, you know. You know. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. You're in the coffee room and shit. You're just like, I just, I really like your ear. Oh, you like that? You know, I'm just, that's what that's I do. Just you know, me. That's just, just my swag. You I know bring, I bring that little, you know, little, <laughs> yeah. little touch to, to Ness and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he's just he's swagging. I'm just saying, there's no dudes that are swagged out like that in Ness. No, it's true. It's true. I, a few I didn't of us. Think I like yeah. to get some of my, my Let me my tell boys, you, dude. Don't be nice to those boys. Yeah, those my boys, boys, my boys are, are straight yeah. nerds. <laughs> All right. Say that out loud. Say that. Yeah, say they're, they're fucking nerds, dude. <laughs> yeah. They're at the bar and they're just like, uh, well, uh, technically, the amount of alcohol that they poured into that cup. But that's the thing. Those do exist. But you got to pull the homies. Yeah, they don't want to know that shit. That's the that's the thing. Like when you think about a scientist, you think about someone that looks like you right now. Wow. 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 I can't believe Sasha. Right now, dude. I don't, I don't, I'm not getting on the ship. You are not getting on the ship, right? All right. You are this close to getting on the ship. All right. So I have a question. I have a real quick question, right? Mm. So do you guys think that right now with the missions that you are working with uh, and trying to accomplish, is AI an asset or is it something that you guys are afraid of? I'm excited. Using? I'm excited okay. for it. Oh, you like I, it? I, oh, I, I love it. Um, I think, uh, oh my goodness. Director of Pinocchio? Uh, Guillermo, uh, Guillermo del Toro. Guillermo del Toro. Forgive me. Guillermo. Please. Okay. Um, he, he said it best, uh, and, and I'll, I'll quote, I'm not afraid of artificial intelligence. I'm afraid of natural stupidity. Mm. Damn. And I was Bar. like, I was well, like, wow, that's the best way to put it. Cause at the end of the day, it's a tool. Yeah. You know? And people are programming well, we it. Humans are programming it to be. 
whatever it's gonna be. I wanted to, you know, admit something. I'm actually hard to believe. It. I'm not a scientist. Oof. <laughs> oh, oh my and God. Uh, had me fooled. Uh, I just have a lot of pens and <laughs> nerd. I'm actually yeah, nerd. Uh, dude, not a scientist. I'm a cool kid. I actually am a. <laughs> I was a silver tooth kid. Do you know what a silver tooth kid is? No idea. <laughs> Buckle up. We're going on a ride. Uh, we're going to take a quick commercial break, but when we come back, I'm going to show you videos of silver tooth kids. Silver tooth kids, you know, the kids that grow up with silver with teeth, they're bad kids, you know what I mean? They can't even take care of their own. You look like confused and you don't know what's up. Check out what's coming up next after this commercial break. The human helicopter. Yeah. Oh. No, no, she getting ready. She getting ready to go on a NASA mission right there. That's no, <laughs> she's 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 training, training, training them training young. Right now. Training yeah. them young. I appreciate yeah. this gentleman. She's training yeah. them young. Did you ever experience something like this? Welcome back, baby. We're here uh, at the uh, Three G's in a Pod. Yes. And my favorite segment. All right, it's the uh, Silver Tooth Kid of the Week. Uh, again, those little bad kids that just run around, don't listen. They always have silver teeth. You know, uh, I was that guy. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, and uh, I'm gonna unbuckle this because it's getting a little hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you better watch your mouth. You keep staring at my my buttons on my zipper. I don't know what's going on over I've there. Okay, I've never seen a video. I've never seen an H and M lab coat. So this is a video of the <laughs> silver tooth kid of the week. So what we have here? We have. Oh my god! If she oh out, yeah. The human helicopter. Yeah. No, no, she getting ready. She getting ready to go on a NASA mission right there. That's no, <laughs> training, 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 training them young. Right now. Training yeah. them young. I appreciate yeah. this gentleman. She's yeah. training yeah. them young. Did you ever experience something like this? Like an older sibling? I, I did that to my nieces. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. There you go. You see, but you're by, the, by, the, by the ankles or you did by the oh, hands? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's how I know she's okay with it because she's in position of like, all right, I'm going to control my hair. <laughs> yeah. And you do what you got to do. By the way, classic Latino couch. Everybody, you know what I mean? I have a tia who has the same couch. Where's the plastic, well, I though? I remember this. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. the plastic. Yeah. yeah. This reminds me of, like, when my cousin was supposed to babysit me, and he wasn't supposed to have any girlfriends over. Yeah. And um, he was like, oh, you want to play Tarzan? And I was like, yeah, Tarzan. sure. So we had a bunk bed, right. uh -huh. and he just tied me to the bunk bed, and I was just hanging there while he was hanging out with some girl. No. Yeah. Way. Yeah. That, that's, yeah, I was that's like what happens. No. I was we like, get the oldest sibling to take care of the yeah. youngest. Now Sasha's got like, some weird fetishes. Do you want to play Tarzan? Do you want to play to the bed and just leave. No. You like Tarzan? No. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Damn. You ever tie somebody up? This kid is gonna. It, man, he was, if he drops her, bro. It was a wrap. Yeah. That's it. Like, nah, I'm glad he didn't. Just like this, it can go south. Yeah, that real quick. hard hey, ass floor. He's got, that hard he's got flip flops. I know he. She could have broken her whole entire. He's got chocolate. You know, I feel on, like homie. that's a skill you start developing. Yeah. Maybe that's a, a little uncle because that was me. Yeah, with Yo, my this kid is wow. So also, who's recording? It's got to be a kid because look at the size of the, you know, it's, it's like this <laughs> level, that angle, yeah, ground level. True. So it's another little kid recording. That's Junior, true. what do you want me to do, Junior? Yeah, you just press record. This is definitely me and my brothers for sure. Yeah. Just press record and shut up. And the girl's just like, wow. let me tell you something. If if that little girl, yeah, well. Yeah, she's gonna grow up and she's gonna grow up and. Anybody want to try it? She's no, wow. Nah, no. I don't think y'all can carry nah. me. <laughs> Just be real. <laughs> don't you listen, sweet cheeks. <laughs> we saw the jacket. No, right, now, no right. one questioned it. Yeah, 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 we no, all right. agree with all you. Right. Yeah, no yeah, one was like, yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. You nah, noticed the jacket. Man. He also noticed the nuts. You're like, oh, <laughs> did that thing swell up too? What's going Yo. on? Yo. This guy's you got a zesty skinny fit lab coat on. We Shut saw it, dude. Zesty ass up. <laughs> You look like a zestier version of him. You know what I'm saying? You just Dang. look like you're know, like when Urkel got in the time machine and then he came out as Stefan. Uh, look at Stefan. Look at, look at Stefan's bitch ass. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got uh, our next segment. Pero cada quien. Uh, it's we we give advice and we're glad we have. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I love that having another learned individual on the couch with me because sometimes the advice can go a little a little off the rails over there. I just keep it real. Over there, I so, keep it as real I keep as I can. One hundred percent. That's so right. We answer fan mail. We answer voicemails. We, uh, you know, if you have questions, write into our Instagram, uh, our YouTube, and we will answer it here live. And uh, hopefully, we can help you out or mess things up worse. We don't know. Listen, we're not experts. We're mm -hmm. not experts. Okay, mm -hmm. let's keep it real. I got it for you guys. Ah, right, Liam, hit us with the first question. <clears throat> hey, my G's, I need some advice. I'm with a girl I'm currently talking to, and she's really, really big on astrology. Mm and mm -hmm. a big believer in extraterrestrial beings. Oh uh, she tends to introduce herself with these facts and her sign. Dump her. Um, everything's <laughs> been going pretty well, except now she's really digging deep into my, like, my earth chart. Oh, God. Oh. And she doesn't You're, know if this is going to be able to work. That's a thing now, yeah. yeah. Should You're, I pack up and yes. give up or give her a chance? No. Your earth what? 
Your main three. Your birth chart. main three. Oh, Sasha already knows what these are. Oh, I can't. I'm, I'm sad that I know two. Yeah. Oh, really? oh, come you on. know your main three? Are you Because Aries? I've been on the receiving end of like, yo, wow. let's do your birth chart. It's yeah. like, it's a thing now in LA. Like, oh. dating in LA is, a, is is that now. Yeah. yeah. What's the birth chart? Wait, wait. So, what's your, what's your main three? Are Casey, you Aries? I have it on my phone. What's your sign? A quick question. What's your birthday? What's your birthday? What's your birthday? What's your birthday? April 30th. I just had my golden birthday. Oh, okay. Yeah, golden close, birthday. Right, First, are you one of those 30th. birthday week? Don't be that guy. Oh, that was birthday oh, month. <laughs> All right. So you're a Taurus. All right. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yo, Sasha, yo, chill out. You're just like, oh, you're a Taurus. So you're a Taurus. Oh, All right. Oh, oh, anyway. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Look, I think that the reality of it is that you can't really judge anybody by their sign, right? It's just like, are you an evolved human being or are you not? That's it, right? But it's good to know <laughs> what you're working with. You know what I mean? Like, yes. uh, um, you, should you jump, dump her? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh. I believe in magic. Okay. Yeah, you relax. Beat it. I mean, if she's something. really like, if she's really being annoying about it and she's really like, really, really, really like truly believes it. Because I think that some people just want to know for fun and kind of be like, oh. You know what, dude? You know, right but now I picked a different. Jesus, what's your what's your sign? It's a, first of all, Sagittarius. Y'all already know what's up. Sagittarius gang. <laughs> yeah, right, looks like exactly. a Sagittarius, clearly. Sagittarius yeah, gang all clearly. day, every day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Dude, I, there, nothing annoys oh. me more when a girl does it. Like, what's your sign? You're like, oh, Capricorn. Mm, I see it. And you're like, you see what? What are you yeah, talking yeah, about? Yeah, Shut yeah, up. Yeah. You are. I hate when people are just like, <laughs> what's such a Capricorn? I don't like the sign thing. It's like, what's your sign? I'm like, well, the, I think it's inevitable. Whatever, I whatever think works to fuck. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. We don't be. And we're gonna leave it at this. I'm gonna say this. Right. No, I gotta. Women or like or whatever, like more people are gonna be. It's gonna be like AI, all right. People are just gonna want to you know your main three. Are you? In, there's nothing that you. There's just a lot more people that did are. You just say AI is like yeah, astrology. It, yeah, it's just gonna I'm be like Ellie that. Gonna it's just gonna be like couch and kick slap you. Slap somebody I'm right now. Say, I'm you. saying His that robotic the, mind went. I'm just <laughs> saying that the main three situation is not gonna go away. Like people are gonna be more like, oh, what time were you born? And it's probably gonna evolve to like, oh, what second were you born? It's just what I'm saying is the conversation before used to be like. Oh, what sign were you? Like, what what day were you born? And then now it's just evolving into something more. These apps are making it too easy. That's, that's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, what I'm saying. Like a it's not gonna go anywhere. Smart girl, gotta be incredibly smart. Yeah. Ooh, I beg to differ. The dumber, the better. Because <laughs> let me tell you something right now. All right. <laughs> please, ex so wait, please explain your so theory, right sir. This right here would have been like, oh, I got the wild card. Because if she would have said, I believe in aliens, and I'm like, oh, this bitch is stupid. Okay, let me tell you something right now. I, you're right. Let me tell you about You're right. And guess what? I'm an alien. Are you shh, shut the fuck up? Yeah, I, I we got to keep it on the low, though. All right? I always knew. I know, bitch. I know you. This is why I'm here to tell you that, that you've been right. So let's go to my room and I'll discuss alien activities. <laughs> that you. <laughs> Oh my God! Can I Weren't bring you a friend? About don't bring a friend. friend. They were. They believe that people have been probed, and I'm just like, I don't buy any of this. I'm a probe the fuck out of you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, oh, you got probed. I'm a yeah, probe anyway. the fuck out of you. Come get my alien spaceship. This Honda Civic. We, we go to experiment. What I'm trying to say ass. is, mm -mm, I don't think you should mm -mm. dump her. What I'm trying to say is, I don't think you should dump her because a lot more people are believing in it now, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know, which is a problem. Yes. Is, yeah. You, wait. Why? So you're saying don't <laughs> dump her because a lot of people believe in it. But if he doesn't believe in it, there's a lot of men that believe in this stuff too. Can we give this man some real advice? But like, if he doesn't believe in it, why is he going to stay with it's it? It's a man. Then be single yeah, forever because there's hey. a lot of women that believe in it. But that. there's a lot of that don't. So you're making it sound like this dude should should take her on like a like a restoration project. Like, listen, you can fix her. Like, if he doesn't, if they're not uh, on the same page about this, yeah, stuff, but Eric, find somebody. That if the girl on. says, if the girl says, I can't date you because you're the sign, then uh, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, this is that's crazy. Hold on, hold on. That's oh, insane. Because, like I said before you know, say what I was saying, is that you cannot judge, like, you can't just be like, oh, you're this sign, like, no, you can't judge a person by their sign. It's either you're an evolved human being or so you're yeah, not. This one became astrology. Well, that's Martin Luther King over here. Well, that's what Don't I'm judge Eric, by this sign. You okay, also, but this, well, we're not that's what you're adding to the equation. How big are the titties? Because let me say something. Oh my God. If, I apologize. Elio, I'm so sorry. Yo. Are you going to be like, <laughs> this man has his master's. He got his master's. Hold on. He went to NASA. You don't got to be a master. What? What? You don't have to have a rover on I'm Mars to know man. if you're going to give her a chance or not. <laughs> Elio, you're when, not when, helping you. When there's titties involved. Good God. I don't give a fuck what kind of scientist you are. When there's titties involved, you're like, well, we'll work it out. We'll figure it out. You know what? 
you tell your you smart tend buddy. To, you saying, tend to I short think, circuit. I, I just <laughs> don't think that. <laughs> that was a smart ass think. looking, but it was funny. I liked it. Oh my God. This no, is but, really but funny. I think that could be part of it. And I've been there. I've, I've been there. I've been there. It's like they're the kind of thing? obsessed. Yeah, all right, relax. Sort of, relax. They're, He's trying they're, to they're obsessed with astrology. Talk? But Jesus Christ, can he talk? I think that the true thing is like get to know the person. And if you know that, oh, if you like them, man. then you go study up some Walter Mercado. Yeah, no. exactly. That's another thing. Let's That's talk about that. You know, if you like them, all right, cool. And then if they like aliens, all right, you talk, you talk what I was talking about. You talk about what's yes. happening on Mars, what's talking on yes. Europa, what NASA's doing. At or, the end of the day, no. If you get to know the person, if that's something that you're into, then that's like people have different beliefs. But it sounds like he's having a problem with this, so that's why I say If you have a different go. belief, then you shouldn't date her. It, then that's the that's it. If you guys yeah, have or different you do and you learn to accept it. Yeah, that could also, that could also be a thing. You gotta learn to live with the differences too. Yeah, you know? that's true. Yeah. Nah, See? know your worth, yeah. King. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey. Hey. Everybody, that's it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Elio Morio, thank you for being here. Uh, <laughs> tell everybody where they can find the book. Thank you, thank you. The Boy Who Reached for the Stars. You can find it at your favorite bookstore, Amazon, wherever you buy your books. I'm super proud of the work that I've done and to share my story and more than anything, inspire people to reach for their own stars. Find me on Instagram as well, at The Space Mechanic, and hit me up. Yeah. What's, What's up? up? If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you hit the like button, leave some comments. Come on, let's let's get the algorithm working for us. That's uh, right. That's subscribe, right. tell friends, be a friend, tell everybody, tell your family. That's right. That's right. Uh, Ellie, we gotta get you out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Secret service. Oh, yeah, secret, secret service. service. I knew it. With a crop top. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's a girl. Oh. What happened? What, what happened? I, can't, I, saw, I don't even know. I just saw a big ass planet. Anyway, <laughs> all right, man. Peace. Peace. Have a good one. That was funny.